we didn't give our best effort. So um, we had a couple of really good practices, and now we have to move on. What did you see in the past couple of practices that maybe that you were hoping to see? Well, first and foremost, our guys decided to stick with the game plan. I mean, everybody was making sure they were executing on point from that standpoint. Uh, but what I really saw was just a ramp up in the intensity level of, of practice. There's a sense of urgency. And uh, so, you know, we're hoping that this we can, we can use Sunday as a positive. Now, the following the game plan, was it a subconscious thing or were guys just going rogue? <clears throat> Well, the, we don't have the kind of guys who go rogue, right. really. I, I think what happened is you get caught up in the excitement of the first game. You know, you you haven't had many cracks at it, and you've been playing exhibition uh, teams, and so you get out there and you think you can just play as if you're playing another exhibition game. And I think that was part of it. And then and then they played us some a good zone, and and we felt for their tra their traps of taking long shots early in the shot clock. Is there a play that uh, comes to mind in terms of not executing the game plan offensively that really just epitomizes what you're pointing Well, you know, I can't give you the exact point in time, but if, right. you, if you remember back when they would, we would make one pass, shoot it, miss it, that's like an outlet pass for the other team, especially if they're playing zone because you don't have a shot at getting an offensive rebound. They had three or four of those. You, you take those three or four out, and then you, you might win the game. After the loss... People talking about your seat getting warm and the temperature. Did you turn it up the heat yourself, or how, how are you the, looking the, at that? The, these jobs, the seats are warm all the time. It's just the way. It's just the nature of the beast. And um, and and you know, these days expectations are high. Everybody wants their team to win, including me. Um, so you know, you don't take this job without the the prerequisite complaining when you lose a, to a team you shouldn't lose to. Uh, and and the interesting thing is. You know, whether your seat's warming or cooling, the pressure to win is always there because the, you got a team full of young men who are working hard every day, and I, that, that's the pressure I have. I, I want to do well for those guys. You talked about the players playing with some more urgency. As a coach, does it kind of have to have to be the opposite? Do you, is it a bad thing to coach with urgency? Well, you know, sense? it's it's Stephen. It's a delicate balance because if they see me going too crazy, then they get nervous because I look like we're desperate so it's a it's a delicate balance of, of providing them some motivation and intensity without looking like you're panicked and uh, now's not the time to panic we got a lot of games to play now, I, you talked about the game plan being you want to pound it inside you're going to have some help doing that this next game tomorrow night with Devon coming back how, how you weathered that part one of the storm right? yeah yeah we did and 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 we didn't weather it very well but um, we weathered it and it's it's really nice to have him back and I'm 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 excited for him uh, because he's done a, a a brilliant job for us as a as a scout player and uh, you know he's handled his suspension without pouting and uh, very remorseful so uh, from that standpoint it's great for, but to have another post player who's experienced on the court is uh, it's it's really timely um, and and you know you look back at our game against Coppin we played 10 guys seven were freshmen and sophomores so uh, before the, the opener, we talked about the, the offense distribution. And Roberto had basically 50% of the points. It's going to be hard for him to sustain that throughout the course. Of oh, yeah. And, and it'll be hard if we don't give him some help because you can't get half your team's points and win many games at this level. Uh, but I think that, that uh, we have enough firepower. We just need to get people to step up and use it. Defensively, uh, moving a man, you mixed in a little zone last game as well. Is what's going to be sort of the, the game plan? Is it are they going to try and mix it up? Yeah, or? we're going to play whatever is working. You know, okay. we're going to play whatever is working. I think we we have gotten to be proficient in a couple of things. The one three one, obviously, we're we're a better man to man team. Um, <clears throat> we have to finish plays though. The the, the um, loose balls second chance shots also preventing offensive rebounds against us those are the things we need to really shore up last one for me uh getting back to devon not that he wasn't already excited and motivated to come back have you seen him the past two days in practice just ramp that up yeah yeah loss? well you know it was it was we we tried to f put him in with uh 
with the with the starting team a little bit in training camp and uh, but we had to work with the guys who were going to be playing so the last couple of days he's been exclusively with the the, the, the starting lineup and uh, um, he seems like he's ready you know we'll get to the game and there'll probably be a little bit of rust because he hasn't played in a while but uh, I, I think he'll be ready but he'll start uh, it, it's I, I'm, I'm thinking he's gonna start but you know I haven't made that final decision yet